can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's going on guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video and today we're finally getting Copper, not Copper uh, Jr, Copper back home. She's been chilling at the shop for about almost 3 to 4 weeks now. So it's been pretty insane. I've, I've been missing to drive that car. I love that car. I love hearing the burbles. We're about to finally head to the shop, do a cold startup, enjoy it on the drive home. But we're actually going the complete opposite direction. So we're actually going about 45 minutes that way and about an hour 45 to the shop because I'm about I'm about 45 to an hour from uh, the shop here, but I'm going the opposite direction. So it's going to be a lot of driving today, but we did all the new wheels um, for the 435, which I'm going to be showing you guys right now. And then we're going to load them up to the 535, take the 535 down to Stockton, get tires mounted, and then take all that, come back here, pick up my brother. We're going to take two cars, probably Copper Jr. Or actually maybe, maybe Ocean. We'll see. Ocean or Copper Jr.? Well, to see and then take all that stuff down to the shop and hopefully get the tires mounted i cannot wait to drive that car i've been missing it so badly then here let me go ahead and show you guys what we got in here let's go ahead and crack open these boxes show you guys the rim and then we gotta load these suckers up to the 535 honestly so here's rim number one taking out the rim this thing is a big boy 20 inches guys i'll show you guys what we got here so this is a 20 inch titanium finish uh, concave staggered setup for the 435. Check her out, guys. So this is the front. It's not concave. I don't know if you guys can see the finish. The attention to detail, it is gorgeous. Check that out. So these are custom made to fit my car without spacers. So let's see. Hopefully, it's my car can even air out. Hopefully, I didn't spec them out to be a little bit too big to the point to where I need to go wide body. I pretty much reached out to Van. I was like, I want something custom. And they said, you know what? Do you want wheels that don't even require spacers? And I was like, that's a thing. So we got it done. That's why it took forever to get here. Uh, but finally, they are ready to go. Hopefully, we get the center caps. I didn't notice there's any center caps. So I'm hoping there is. But anyway, I'm gonna start loading it up all into the car. Uh, let's get it in the 535. All right, guys, I got one more rear wheel to actually load up into the car. I'll show you guys the concave when I actually get the tires on, but look at this. Look at that. Oh, man, I'm excited for this. What I'm also super stoked about, they sent me a shirt, so I think we're gonna have to slap this on and the plate. I don't know if I'm gonna rock this, but I'm definitely gonna be rocking this. So let's go ahead and throw this on. Look the shirt on. It actually fits quite nicely. Check it out. So we got the variant right here. And I don't know if you guys can see the back. Uh, can you guys see it? No, nope, maybe so. I might have somebody else actually show you guys the back, but it's pretty sick. So shout out to Van for sending me that shirt. I don't know how they got my size, but all right. So hot here today. Let me go ahead and just turn that off real quick. But yeah, we officially got all the wheels loaded up. Let's go ahead and get these tires mounted. And uh, we're gonna have to go to them in a few days actually also to get the, the to get to 135i tires and wheels mounted as well. So we got, we, got, we got two new sets of tires and wheels going on both coppers. That's pretty exciting. All right guys, so I'm gonna head on my journey. Just rock a little variant shirt, no big deal. <laughs> and uh, let's get these tires mounted, I'm excited. All right guys, we are pulled up in tire and wheel zone. Oh man, they got quite a bit of cars here today. Let's see if they can actually mount these tires and wheels for me, I hope so. Let's get these bad boys out and mount them on some brand new tires. I'm pretty stoked for this. All right, guys, these are the tires we went with. These are the Falcons, right? Yeah, Falcons. So we went with Falcon tires, uh, 235, 35, 20 in the fronts, and then we went with 275, 30, 20 in the rears. So, uh, yeah, let's get them mounted. Yeah. <laughs> let's get it. All right, guys, just spoke with Osman. Uh, basically, he's going to go ahead and take all the wheels in, go ahead and mount it for us. So I'll check back to you guys when actually the tires are mounted and before we head out. Um, peace out. Guys, they have tires on tires. Literally, I told them I need tires and they got it the next day for me. So they work with this warehouse that's local. So if you guys need tires literally the next day, any tires you want, they will get it ordered and bring it here and even mount it the next day. So that's actually really convenient for me. So again, sh shout out to Tires and Wheel Zones. Their information is going to be linked down below if you guys want to hit up on Instagram. They're hooking it up today with the, the mounting and everything. So I really appreciate them for that. Again, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I I'll wait for you guys and then I'll wait for them to actually bring out the wheels. So I just left Tire and Wheel Zone. All the tires are mounted. They give me bags and everything. Shout out to them. So I don't have to ruin my car. I mean, they are brand new tires and wheels, so it shouldn't actually mess up my seats. But still, uh, just 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 for the heck of it, I would prefer bags, and they hooked it up. So I appreciate them for that. The little things matter. Anyway, we are officially heading home right now. I'm gonna pick up my brother. We're gonna get something to eat, and then we're gonna actually take both cars down to the shop, get these tires and wheels mounted. Um, went a little bit of a journey today, guys. <laughs> We 
just made it home. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call my brother. So we're about to actually head out together. I'm gonna get some food. And uh, yeah, we're, I'm super, super hungry. Wheels are in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it so no one steals them. You know, that's kind of important. And let's go hit up my brother. All right, guys, so I'm here with the op. So um, something happened last video that I mentioned, but I didn't actually really show them. What's missing from this car? What's missing from, your, uh, from our lives right now? Our lives? I sold my car, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so he's at three 328s in his life, right? I oh, know yeah. four. That other one was a four 328 as well, right? All of them 328. He had a he had a coupe E92 328. Then he upgraded to an LCI 328. Well, not, it's not in the order. And then he had an E90 328, and then an F30 328. So he's been in the F30 uh, 328 route. I mean, he's been in the 328 gang a very long time, and I'm trying to get him into a kind of like the maybe maybe a six cylinder twin turbo. Maybe no. May, we'll have to see. I don't know. We have to look within the budget. But anyhow, um, so yeah, we just got the wheels. We're about to go out and eat real quick, get some gas. This thing's pretty much almost out. So uh, that is what it is. You know, always gotta spend money. Chipotle. Chipotle. He already automatically assumed. Are you? Are we going yeah, we're going to Chipotle. Chipotle. I mean, we're not going anywhere else. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first stop, the gas station, guys. Uh, so homies, we made it. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're taking gas. Let's get sunny. So we are in North Highlands right now, heading over to the shop, but. We're actually heading over to Togo's. We were gonna eat Chipotle, but then we decided, you know, the Chipotle next was making a sick recently. I don't know what's going on with it. And then we were gonna go to In N Out, but I, I don't know where In N Out is for some reason. I'm in a major brain fart. So uh, we're just gonna go to Togo's. Why not? Guys, we arrived at Togo's, but no, they're open, right? Somebody's in there. We're to the shop. I think we're just gonna go ahead and eat. We're both starving. It's literally 4 p.m. We haven't eaten anything. So let's go ahead and eat. And then we'll start unloading the wheels and tires and uh, get copper cleaned up. All right, guys, so we are finally in the shop. You guys won't believe the nightmare it took to actually get in the shop today. Basically, as soon as we got here, uh, I realized that John wasn't here. So I was like, oh crap, I forgot my keys at home. So then I called Devon. I was like, hey bro, cause he lives about 25 minutes away from me. I was like, are you at home? He's like, no. And I was like, snap, so I have to go all the way back home. But he's like, I, you can't. He has his keys in a specific spot. So I drove 25 minutes, got the keys, came back here. Turns out it was the wrong key. So then I had to go back to his house, exchange the keys, come back over here, and I finally got inside the garage. So it's been a very, very, very long day. Just trying to get to the 435. It almost felt untouchable, and I was right beyond those gates. Anywho, now that we're in here, um, let's go ahead and just get the car up and start mounting the wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up the car a little bit. We're gonna probably do it outside, and then uh, we need to give it a good wash, because as you guys can see, it is filthy. I cannot wait to drive her. Cannot wait to hear the burbles, and I cannot wait for her to be next to Copper Jr. So it's been a long time since I started this up and drive it. Dude, how long has it been here? Like, when was the last time I actually saw it? Like, three weeks? Yeah, it's yeah. almost been a month, which is absolutely insane. So I think we should do a proper startup. It does have a Valtronic exhaust, but you know, why not get this startup in the video? Turn it, go straight back. Perfect. Oh my God, I love these seats. Oh my God, I love this car. It's been so long. I haven't used bags in forever. Guys, I really don't know if you guys can see how dirty this thing is. Anyway, we're gonna give it a good thorough car wash, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get all the rims and set them over here, show you guys the rims and then mount them. I know you guys like these wheels, but they're not mine and I really don't personally like them. I don't know, you guys might hate me for that, but I don't like them to be honest. Don't get me wrong, three-piece wheels are super nice. I actually like the ones with the bronze lip, black inner, and then if the car was black, it would look so good with the bronze lip, but not my setup. So anywho, let's go ahead and get those new variant wheels, set them up over here, show you guys what we're about to rock. Check out the new wheels from Variant. So we went with a brand new set of tires. As you guys can see, like, oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. These are brand new. It may look a little bit dirty right now. That's because we just rolled it on this dirty ground. This garage is so filthy, honestly. But guys, so the front, we went pretty much just a flush fitment. I like how the front is flush and the rear is concave. We also have really nice center caps, which you guys saw earlier. We go through it. We'll go through. We go ahead and throw those on. Without further ado, let's go ahead and throw on these wheels. I really hope it clears out for bags. I went stretched on the rear and the front. Not as much on the rear, mostly in the front. But hopefully we can air out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get those rims off. Guys, what the heck? I mean, my bumper looks a little messed up. We might have to fix that, but 
Look at the rim. We got the VMR center caps with the black uh, pretty much decals on. Look at the titanium. So it is missing one bolt. These are custom made to my car. So you guys can see it's super deep. He ba they basically built in a spacer so it fits perfect to my car. It's built into the wheel. They do custom orders like that, which is absolutely insane. So these wheels should literally be flush with my car, which I'm super hyped about. The rears, I told them don't do it completely flush because I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, but we do have some five millimeter spacers, worst comes to worst. But they did add a major spacer for the rear as well. So that all being said, I am super excited about that. This look, this looks, oh my gosh, look at the details. Like, hold up, do you see that? Oh my God, these are gorgeous. The finish is absolutely stunning. These are 20 inch rims, guys. Um, so yeah, we're about to see how it looks aired out as well. But for now, let's go ahead and get the rest of them on. And guys, by the way, the car is super dirty too. Just wait till it's clean. As you guys can see, it looks super good. It's kind of flush, actually super flush with the actual body of the car. If you guys come around to the rear, um, it actually has a lot of poke. See, it has a lot of concave. You come up super close to it, especially right here. You guys can see all the details. So it looks super, super good. So I'm super happy about that. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of poke, unfortunately. When I actually air out, I'm not gonna air out completely, but just go down a little bit. The wheels should camber in a little bit. So that being said, the fitness should be literally perfect. It's you got a little bit of space left. Oh, wow. Guys, <laughs> no way, all right. Dude, the fitment is like, dude, put your finger right here. You can't even get your nail in there. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, no, the thing that totally what? sketched me out is how close it was. Yeah, no, that's normal. I don't think you guys can see that. Yeah, it's super close, but as long as the rim, dude, this is perfect. I do need to do a little bit of trimming. Uh, can you see that? I need to do a little bit of trimming to the wrap right here, but yeah, I mean, the bumper did. I think that's why the bumper, the bumper is like, is a little bit off, but uh, I think it, it's good, right? Guys, I am actually so happy with these. I was actually really afraid to go with 20s, and uh, when I'm happy with something, it's kind of scary to change, and that's normally how life is. When you're really content with something, it's hard to change because you're scared if the next thing you're not gonna be happy with it. Um, let's show you guys from a distance. Uh, we definitely have to wash the car. That looks crazy. Yeah. Like that looks freaking great. The car is so filthy, guys. We need to give both copper and ocean a wash. So uh, look at, uh, ocean has a little, little poopy, little poopy stain. So <laughs> let's get them both cleaned up. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but too. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. Here is Copper. Oh my God, I've missed this car, guys. Let's go ahead and show you guys this angle real quick with the new wheels. Oh my God, you guys, what the heck? Let me know, I think we made the right decision here. Um, I, I was really scared to try something new, but guys, check how aggressive these titanium wheels are. I love these center caps too. This is like a very classy setup. It honestly looks more of like an M4 now than ever. Um, not that I'm trying to make it look like an M4, but it's always nice to see my car looks more expensive. <laughs> these, oh my God, guys, these wheels, like I love silver, but these wheels, the reflection is just unreal. And finally, the car is finally cleaned up. We definitely have some more mods coming in, something that I'm actually wanting to get done. You guys don't have M4 seats in my 435. I've been trying to get this carbon fiber blade that sits back here. I feel like it'll be such a nice addition. And I'm also trying to get some more interior goodies. Oh shit, it's finally cleaned up. I think it's time to head back. I wanna actually clean up the interior on the, one, the 435 as well, so I'm not gonna end the video just now. Uh, probably end it tomorrow. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Devon's place, drop off the keys. That's a whole nother story. Let's just say your guy took about four hours to actually get into the shop. It's very complicated. So I'm, my, I'm way behind in schedule. I need to go drop off the keys, head home, get to you guys' orders, and also start working on today's video, and then record the rest of it and finish up editing it so it'll get out on time. If you guys wanna support your boy, make sure to cop some merch down below. I'm gonna be doing another giveaway soon. But meantime, if you guys wanna support the channel, support me and my dream, that would be amazing. I love y'all so much. It's not the end of the video, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sight guys, let me show you guys a little sun sun on the way home from the first day. It's not a BMW if there's not a problem. <laughs> My lord, anyhow, see you guys tomorrow.
Oh wait, no, 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 we're back, we're back. Uh, we have another problem. What do you mean we're a quart low in oil? I didn't even drive you for a month. That just really comes to show that when you don't drive cars, things break. Like cars are meant to be driven and when you don't drive them, I don't know what's up with them, especially German cars. All right, I'll see, I'll see you guys probably, the, hopefully nothing else comes up on the dash, but for the final time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it is the next day. Can you guys see me? Yes, you guys can see me. So we're over here chilling with copper. I mean, guys, just look at how it's chilling. Guys, this is my absolute favorite car. This is absolutely, like, literally my favorite, favorite, favorite car. If you guys tell me right now, should I trade this car in for an M4? I'm not restarting a crazy build like this on an M4. I feel like it's pretty much where I want it. And if I go to get an M4, I feel like the only difference I'd see in the interior would be the dash. I know the dash is made out of, oh, maybe actually, maybe some, or maybe that's only for uh, some models. I think because I have the steering wheel, you know, Beautiful, beautiful steering wheel and performance on the dash. Maybe the cluster is a little bit different, uh, but the seats are here. Uh, I even have custom seat belts and, like I said, custom steering wheel, extended paddles, like carbon fiber literally everywhere. I'm really happy with this interior. Even when you guys open the door, like I love the. The small M badging, like right here. This is an M Sport model, so I got a little bit of M Sport there, right here, on the dash, on the calipers, on the fenders. It's literally everywhere. Like, I absolutely, I love those M touches, but at the same time, this thing is not an M car. It doesn't cost the price of an M car, but it performs so well. I absolutely love this car. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon. I cannot wait to get some carbon fiber right back here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the carbon fiber blade that goes right back here. I definitely need that. Uh, but as for now, as for today, I really want to get this interior cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can see, but this white gets dirty really quick. The passenger seat actually looks really well, but I'm going to go ahead and detail front, both seats in the front. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the back here. We got some like random bags and bottles and stuff, and I want to clean out everything out of the door panels. I just want this thing to be super clean i haven't had the car in over a month we cleaned the outside as you guys saw yesterday these wheels guys are just gorgeous this is my ride height right now you could probably stick half of a finger in there that's my ride height in the front i mean in the rear and this is my ride height in the front i think that looks absolutely insane let me know what you guys think about these wheels but i absolutely love them so i got these wheels from keys motorsports uh so if you guys want to get these variant wheels i'll have a link of keys motorsports down below they have a bunch of different variant wheels on there i don't know if my code still works but uh I mean, it might still work with wheels so if you guys want these wheels with code no and you want to try out my code use code nor5 if that doesn't work on wheels i'm sure it still works on a bunch of other things on the site, but I don't know if it still works on the wheels. You guys have to try them. Let me know on Instagram. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I, I'm really happy with this build right now. All right, so some things I want to do right now that I haven't done in a little bit. I want to I wanna go ahead and fix this. So pretty much the tabs broke off right here, and the 3M is just really bad, and this thing's just dangling. So yeah, I want a 3M. What is that? Leather conditioner detailer. Oh! I just found it in my backpack. I forgot I had it in my backpack. In your backpack? Yeah. What are the odds of that? Yeah. Hell yeah. It should actually work. It's Yeah, leather other quick deal detailer cleans restores protects perfect okay perfect. we're just perfect. we just want to do pretty much the two front seats other than that um i just want to fix this piece right here and then also the car is low on oil apparently so i'm going to put about a quarter oil inside the car and then this thing's ready for a photo shoot jonathan we're actually filming a photo shoot on his channel hey. so uh if you guys want to check that out but um yeah without further ado let's go ahead and do all these little touches um i want to get to that and i want to get to this right now All right, guys, so we just got this molding back on. That's looking pretty dang good to me, so I'm super happy about that. Next thing, uh, we need to clean these, these seats. I don't know if you guys can see that stain, that stain, little booty stains right here. So we got a couple stains we got to work out right here. And then also the passenger seat. The rear seats are mint. No one's ever sat back there, maybe like once or twice, so not way really too about that. But the, obviously the driver's seat, I work at the shop. My hands are dirty like this, and I touch the seat. I really should I should have thought about that. Probably should have got red seats, but uh, I just really love the white and the orange. I mean, the white and the copper. It just looks so freaking good. So I, I still don't have any regrets, but we need to clean the seat nonetheless. <music> All right, guys, so I went ahead and cleaned up the bolstery, as you guys can see. This is pretty much wear and tear, unfortunately. I think we can get this fixed up at LED Solutions, but this is how I got the seat. And uh, But for the most part, as you guys can see, all this is cleaned up. So it did quite a good job getting off all that dirt, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
Um, as for the center console, good as well. And the passenger seat, just did a little bit of rubbing. Wasn't too, like, didn't need much. And I just did a little bit over the steering wheel because I get to see that all the time. So, anyhow, interior is good to go. Super happy about how it's coming together, guys. Anyhow, we got to put about a quarter oil in here and then just clean the wheels. And then we should be ready to go. I'm really wondering why I'm like a quart low on oil. Is it because it's leaking bad or what? I really don't know. Anyhow, let's go ahead and put a quart. Never mind, guys. I actually couldn't find the oil. So, that's it. It is what it is. So, it is a quart low on oil, but it's not like saying that I have to put more oil in. It just says there's a quart low. You need to put oil. I guess it is pretty much I have to, but I don't have the oil right now, so I'll probably put it in tomorrow. So uh, probably just do a short little photo shoot today because I don't really, I don't really want to drive it far without that much oil in it. So I'm probably going to conclude the video right here. But yeah, guys, as it sits, I'm super happy about it. Let me know what you guys think about the new wheels, and let me know what kind of mods you guys want to see next on the 435. Right now, I'm kind of focusing on the 535 and the 135. But just like the wheels, when there's some good deals and when there's some new things that I kind of want to put on the 435, I will be getting those things. So let me know what else you guys want to see on the 435. If you guys want to see more power, if you guys want to see more aesthetics, if you guys want to see more carbon, maybe even a wide body. You guys, let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys want to cop some merch to support your boy, that would mean the world. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all